Hey guys, Dov here, back with another unit highlight, and today we're looking at this big boy as a core unit for the Vampire Coast. Might seem odd for a shooting faction to pick a giant melee monster as one of their core units, but don't get me wrong, the uh, Leviathan of co and the Prometheans too, of course, the crabs in general, very, very important to Vampire Coast for a number of reasons. Provides you something with good armor piercing and massive mass. They've also got a huge amount of armor. And uh, more importantly, they allow you to pull off some different types of things, right? So you can see this is a rush build against the Empire. We've got a whole bunch of deckhands, some depth guard, the big crab, Arnessa also on a crab, which gives the big crab anti-large, nice synergy there, a fleet captain, and uh, one unit of Prometheans Gunnery Mob. You can see the uh, Hammer of Witches, no, Hellstorm Rocket Battery, yep, and Hammer of Witches there, both pounding away. We've got Volkmar, uh, Silver Bullets with some Crossbowmen, uh, Swordsmen, Outriders with Grenade Launchers, and Empire Knights on the Empire side. Lore of Fire as well on that Bright Wizard. And so far the Rockets are doing some okay damage, nothing too crazy, but as is often the case, you, not a lot of armor-piercing damage against the Vampire Coast. Like, you've got these silver bullets here, and the Hammer of Witches, I guess, does armor-piercing as well, but the Crossbowmen, even with their decent AP values, because the Rotting Leviathan has 150 honking armor, means only between 75... Oh, I, let me rephrase that. Between 0 to 25% of the non-armor-piercing damage is going to be getting through, right? So... With these crossbowmen here, like, yeah, 6 AP is pretty good, but of that 18 damage, um, you're, you're going to see very, very little, right? So, uh, the Leviathan now coming up in the front line here. The Silver Bullets really haven't even gotten a great uh, volley here. They got a nice volley, but because of the line of sight issues, they actually start to come forward slightly there. So, a rough spot to be in. You can see, though, that the Depth Guard have taken pretty serious damage. The Grenade Launchers working this flank here. Uh, kind of firing in, pulling back out. Um, really good stuff so far. Arnessa drops the Spearfisher's net on the caster and says, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat you, boy." And of course, the big crab in the background. We're gonna basically dual Volkmar now, um, as the rest of these units kind of sweep up and around. More rockets and a nice charge from those Empire Knights, crumping the Depth Guard there. Zombies still trying to follow up and get into position here. Uh, these. Rotting Prometheans holding out decently against the Empire Knights. They get a, did get an invocation of the heck there. They were probably losing otherwise, um, but at this point they're going to be able to most likely turn that around due to the heals. A Depth Guard obviously starting to crunch through, but this uh, Crab is just providing this giant distraction here in the center. Volkmar has been having to use his mass and, and kind of got stuck up on the Crab for a moment, so he wasn't supporting uh, the entire time against these Depth Guard here. Very important that he supports his state troops and uses his own anti-infantry damage to go after the Depth Guard. But all the while, this crab is just running rampant in the back line. The knights having been routed off by the other crabs on the far side due to some nice magic there. And these other ones, they've been trying to clean up these Depth Guard, but just getting out of position, allowing this crab to heave through with its mass. And that's one of the more important things here, right? Is the massive, uh, thick mass that this crab brings to the table. I'm gonna get a nice invocation of the heck there, as it has tanked out quite a bit of damage. Uh, been taking hits again from Volkmar. The Silver Bullets have been able to get some pretty good beads on it, but at this point, is it gonna be enough? You can see the Arness is moving in here, along with the Depth Guard. It will actually give the Depth Guard anti-large momentarily. No, act that's actually the Fleet Captain. It's not Arnessa. That's fine. Um, Arness is somewhere around here, I believe, chasing some units off. Yeah, looks like she's behind me there. Uh, we're gonna get entangled with some swordsmen. Those Depth Guard had chased off some crossbowmen, so things are looking pretty good for the Vampire Coast. And although the, the Leviathan's taken a ton of damage, managed to rack up two XP chevrons by getting a bunch of damage on Volkmar. And just running around making absolute mockery of that backline. And it's, it's, again, because of the nature of the Vampire Coast, like, people will sometimes not bring the right tools to deal with this. And especially, like, one crab, even double crab, can definitely catch people off guard. And it's something that when you're playing against the Vampire Coast, you always have to keep in mind, do I have the tools to deal with this crab? I have a pretty uh, memorable, one of, one of my favorite replays 
um, from my channel. Um, it was a game from the Faction War back in the day where I was playing the Empire against Vampire Coast and I had to face a double uh, giant crab build and it was really rough. Like I just barely, barely won. Had to end up cycle charging. <laughs> Uh, Noctilus with Marcus Wolfhart in the end. It's it's a long story. Go watch the video if you haven't. If I can remember, I'll try and link it down in the description below. But you will see, even though Vampire Coast lost that game, spoiler alert, you'll see the power level of the giant crabs and how, um, even though I didn't necessarily have the right tools to deal with it, uh, I was just barely able to kind of cludging different things together. Um, one thing, though, against the Vampire Coast, and this is true of a lot of factions, you won't see a lot of cavalry or other high-mass units. You absolutely need something, just in case, to block up a Rotting Leviathan and keep it from just running over all of your ranged units. So here, the Empire player is kind of stabilizing a little bit. He's got some grenade launchers, blowing up some Depth Guard, doing some pretty good damage, trying to get back in this game, but he really has no tools whatsoever at this point uh, that can deal with... This, uh, this crab here, I mean, the Silver Bullets did a lot of damage. They're technically still fighting here. I guess they could turn and get some volleys. But, I mean, RNS is still pretty healthy. Yep, she's still very healthy over here. The Vampire Fleet Captain's still basically 100% healthy, so... Uh, acting as a tank is absolutely a valid use for this thing. Again, that 150 armor, massive health pool. Means it can tank very well. It's absolutely great at that. Uh, also get some good damage done as well. You can see it moving through here. I have to say, even though it's absolutely disgusting looking, it's one of my favorite unit models in the game too. Like, it's just so unique. The, the big ship on the back, floppy, floppy crow's nest with the zombo standing up there, just absolutely sick to his stomach. That giant crab face. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of cute in a really disgusting, horrible way. <laughs> this one crossbowman. Please, not me. Please. And running towards the water, though, uh, when you're fighting a crab, maybe doesn't seem like the best idea. I guess that's kind of the only water around. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Grenade launchers doing their best to try and kite and fight here and finish this off. Uh, you can see the silver bullets and state troops also charging through. The, the Vampire Count's army, or Vampire Coast, rather, is pretty tattered. But it's mostly just the fact that Aranessa and, and the hero are still so healthy, and of course the crab still being on the field is a huge, huge deal. So, for, for Vampire Coast, um, I, I, I don't know what, what I can say that I haven't already said about these guys. They're just huge because of the role they fill for Vampire Coast. They're super, super essential, and you might not see Leviathans in every build, um, and in every matchup, like, obviously against somebody like the Dwarfs, it might not be the best, but even a faction like the Empire that still has pretty good access to armor-piercing missiles, and you would think on paper has good tools for dealing with Leviathan. Keep in mind, though, that even, like, if you run Balthazar Gelt with uh, Overcast Plague of Rust, that Leviathan's gonna be at still 90 armor even after that Overcast Plague of Rust, right? So it's just uh, 150 is in the stratosphere in terms of armor. Like, that is... Um, I think that might be one of the highest, second only to the steam tank, perhaps, at 160, I want to say. Volkmar raining some fire and some grenades on the foul crabs, but, uh, you know, they, the butter sauce just runs right off them, and they shrug it off and just get back to work. That will be all. You can see Arnessa is close enough momentarily to give some anti-large out, which will help take down Volkmar, but he's making his final stand, and that will be all. Oof, actually, rear charges and routes Aranessa there. How about uh, Volkmar using his chariot to very good effect? <laughs> but it's it's a pretty hopeless endeavor. Eventually, crabs will catch up with him, the big boy especially, and that's it. Very well played. Big thanks to uh, Gia for sending that one in. And a nice rush build from Vampire Coast. Always love it when I see that. Nice change of pace and something to keep. Uh, players uh, on their toes when considering builds against the Vampire Coast. You got to make sure you have the counters for this as well. And Lagsy here just kind of lacked the direct uh, single entity stopping power or, uh, you know, armor debuffs. Like he had a decent amount of missiles, and I understand the Hellstorm rocket battery and the Hammer of Witches, but they ended up not paying for themselves here. I mean, I, I, like I said, I do understand why you bring them, but it's an interesting one. 
Uh, definitely an interesting one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that battle, learned something. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.